Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and a while ago somebody left me a comment and they asked, how could I be more articulate like you, referring to me? And a few days ago, I tried my best to um, answer that question, not in a position of um, being an, an authority on being articulate and um, being some great person that uh, can express themselves perfectly, but as someone who uh, has a great interest and um, actively works on um, trying to communicate um, clearly and persuasively. So I made a video and I thought I did a fairly good job um, saying I'm not some super articulate person, but these are some of the thoughts that I um, have uh, for my own self-improvement. And I got a comment that I want to read, and it's a mean comment. And I'm not reading, uh, I'm going to read the comment. Um, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not reading it um, to point out that people leave mean comments on um, internet videos or public forums or things like that. And I'm also not reading it uh, to pick on this person. I, I think there are, um, a, I have a few thoughts that I think are um, important to lay out. So I made a video talking about being articulate, my thoughts on how to become more articulate. And so uh, this is the comment. Uh, the person said, speaking to me, you are not articulate at all. I can watch this on three times the speed and still think you vapid. Exhibiting the classic post-2010s American aimless, trailing off in vocal fry fashion, stuttering, repeatedly listing useless synonyms in a rhythmic, anaphoric high register. You should take elocution classes, take nootropics uh, for verbal fluency, do association exercises, uh, begin imitating fluid speakers, learn articulate placeholders, idioms, even cones, uh, units that can expand into branching systems of thought comfortably. Have a guiding, have a guiding philosophy that guides all your speech and a passionate fire that all things can relate to. Uh, study Steve Donahue. Study how Steve Donahue talks for a uh, booktube example. Uh, booktube, for example. Um, uh, study Stephen J. Gould, William Irwin Thompson, John David Herbert, Glenn Gould, uh, Leonard Bernstein for higher examples. So that's the comment. I responded and said, this isn't a very nice comment. And the person said, yet, no ad hominems, just truths that function as truths. So he used a fancy French phrase. I had to look it up. It means um, that he didn't attack me personally. He attacked um, the argument and was able to show uh, the flaws in the argument. Um, and I know I have uh, my own self-improvement. I uh, do have a very slight stutter. Um, when I was in elementary school, I took, uh, I was put into uh, speech impediment classes to work on certain issues that I had. Uh, growing up, I was terrified of having to um, speak in front of a crowd or in front of a class. And when I first started making YouTube videos, uh, I, I was so afraid. I waited two years before I even started um, while I had the idea. And then when I did start, I had people sit behind the camera to try to recreate a personal conversation. So somebody that I was friends with and trusted in conversation would be behind me. And... Uh, it's something that I did, and I'm not making this video or any of the videos that I've uh, 
uh, ever made because I'm a professional and I'm already um, doing the things that I want uh, to be better at. I'm not doing them uh, perfectly already. Instead, I'm doing them, I'm, I'm making this, uh, not necessarily this video, but um, book videos talking about the things that I'm reading. I do it as a hobby. I, I get great pleasure out of it. I, I do find um, it makes me feel good to see a subscriber count go up or a video that has lots of views. And also I, I feel like there's some benefit just adding a little bit of my interest uh, back into the world and trying to explain um, why some stories might be great fun. In addition, I am actively um, trying to be a better public speaker. Now, uh, the reason I'm bringing all of this up and talking about a mean comment is there's a few crucial aspects. Um, one, um, I think about one of my favorite movies, Harvey. And at the end of the movie, uh, we have our main character, um, Elwood P. Dowd, and he's having a conversation with someone about how, uh, why he's behaving the why he, the why he's behaving the way that he is. And he says um, he had spent his life, uh, he said he had learned that uh, in life you can only be either oh so smart or oh so pleasant. And he had spent years being smart and now he had decided to be pleasant. And if, if you get a comment like that, if someone sends uh, a comment like that, The two important aspects of it are it's not to be taken seriously and it's also not a source of advice. It should be dismissed as someone being rude. And for someone that might be trying to be more articulate or read lots of books and study very important things, there should not in an ideal situation, there shouldn't be a trade-off between self-improvement and being kind. And so, if you're in a situation where maybe you're a bit smarter, maybe you're more articulate, and your decision is to put someone down um, and point out that they have a stutter, you should avoid that as best you can. Um, everybody has limitations. Everybody's trying. You can add to the conversation. Now, if you have a hobby, everybody should. And if it's uh, public in some way, you do have to expect public ridicule especially on the internet. I spent years being a painter. I would have little art shows and put things up. And uh, I thought I was a fairly good painter. I can say um, uh, fairly objectively that I was a prolific painter. I painted uh, through the years hundreds and hundreds of uh, paintings, sold hundreds of paintings. And whatever the thing is, if you're painter or a writer or want to be a public speaker or a musician or a rapper and let's say you're terrible you're a terrible rapper and you have a YouTube channel and you try to uh, make your own music videos or publish your songs or any of these things someone criticizing you in that way is to be expected. I, I get comments like this fairly frequently, someone saying, you don't know what you're talking about. I try to encourage uh, people to um, 
maybe try out books that I have read uh, that I've enjoyed and to show that it's not so intimidating. And uh, to read something like that uh, and think uh, there are so many people that won't, uh, out, out of uh, fear of humiliation, um, put themselves out there just like me, not because I'm not interested, not because I'm not passionate, but because I'm afraid of being embarrassed and caught out. Somebody saying, well, you, I can hear you, 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 you stutter and you're not a really great uh, speaker and your thoughts aren't that uh, clear. Well, uh, I've read lots and lots of books. This is m what I have to work with. And <clears throat> Maybe I'm not all that bright. Well, uh, where would I have been if I thought, I, well, you know, why should I read these books? I'm not already um, super literate. I would be worse off. Uh, how would I be speaking if I wasn't trying my best? Um, and I think really that uh, th this is me being... <laughs> Uh, not not clear with my thoughts. I understand that. Um, comments like that, um, if you don't have thick skin, can just ruin someone's day and put them back uh, weeks or months, years. Um, the idea isn't uh, to be perfect idea is to do your best if, if you want to be better try try to be better keep keep working at it um, ask ask questions and join um, join discussions and um, do a not so good job uh, Samuel Beckett said fail fail better keep keep failing um, but and in less extreme terms, um, there's nothing wrong with being average or being above average and wanting to do better. Um, to, if we're talking about being articulate or being a painter or uh, reading difficult books or uh, trying to be a writer. Um, Expect bad comments. They should be dismissed. They should not be a source of um, anxiety or frustration, and certainly not a source of advice. Um, if you look for advice, it should be entrusted companions, either people that you know in life or the resources that we have available, which could be um, for whatever avenue of interest, could, could be books or music or film or things on the internet, uh, YouTubers, um, great public speakers like Steve Donahue or uh, Jason Harrigan. Um, and so those are just, I guess, like the other side of being um, <clears throat> uh, articulate and uh, what happens when you do put yourself out there. So um, thank you. Let me know um, um, if you have any thoughts. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you would like and take care um, and leave nice comments.